Morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you today. Today, we've come to another Sabbath where we have the opportunity to stop and pause and reflect upon the world around us and how we each have the opportunity to become the witnesses of God's love in the world today, to be examples of people willing and ready to stand up and act or speak about love. For too long, we have sat back quietly. For too long, we have allowed hate and evil and violence to become acceptable. For too long, we have allowed systemic patterns of behavior to become acceptable, although clearly wrong. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, today, we again pray for love, for more love. Guide us to love our neighbors, all of our neighbors. Guide us to seek equality for all. Guide us to uncomfortable conversations that will allow an end to racism and inequality in the world. Guide us to be an instrument of your love, promoting an end to all violence in the world. Guide us to be an instrument for the end of systemic racism in our nation, our communities, and our church. Forgive our silence and guide us to speak. Forgive our inaction and guide us to act. Forgive our hate and guide us to love. Amen. Friends, our reading for today is text commonly known as the Shema from Deuteronomy 6, verses 5 through 9. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed Sabbath, and remember, love one another.